Lucifer Star Investigations. Like I say, it's kind of funny. It's hilarious. But um, they could actually be considered the creator's investigations or White Star Line's investigations. <clears throat> like I say, um, it's hilarious how basically, I mean, so many things were basically because of me, by me, and things that, I mean, I don't know if anybody else cared about what was going on in the world or the truth. I was, um, you know, I was always one, one person that cared about the truth. Like I said, uh, Richard Nixon, John McCain, and a lot of Republicans and Democrats and a lot of other people didn't particularly care about the truth, didn't particularly care about history, <clears throat> of course. I mean, didn't particularly care about what ha what happened in general and just cared about what they were doing. Of course, I suppose if you're a killer or someone you know who's running from the law or, or lying, that's all you're going to care about. Anyway, though, but like I say, uh, it's kind of funny how I cared about the truth. Like I said, like I say, too, I cared about who was inside my jails and who was on my planets. I cared about history and, and maybe other people cared about history, too. I don't really know. I mean, of course they did. Well, I mean, I paid a lot of people to care about history, though. That's the funny thing. That's the hilarious part about, about a lot of the people of the past is that, is that you hear blah, 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 blah. And it's like, well, actually, I was just paying them. I directed them, and then I paid them, too, as well. I was really rich, so I paid people to care about things. And um, like I say, just like a mercenary, you pay a mercenary to go and um, and do and, and, and do some tasks for you. You know, I, you know <laughs> I paid historians. I supplied stuff to historians and paid for histor historians or whatever, history people, to um, see about the past. Yeah, and also to take statements and stuff like that. Like I said uh, the, the police, the the police, um, the police are enforcers. Like in the past, they just called them enforcers because all they did was enforce, which is basically like, yeah, give me that. Yeah, it's for the king. Yeah, it tastes good. Yeah, I like. It. Yeah, very nice. Bye. You know, in the past, they were enforcers, whereas like, whereas like, you know. You know, three thousand or a thousand or a hundred people just which basically walked around you, and pretty much would get stuff for you or, or for the people or for themselves. You know, basically, there's a lot of people like that. Anyway, um, I was a bit different, as they say, but um, anyway, and while some people were getting things for themselves, they're actually getting things for me. <laughs> It's still, well, because they got things for themselves and later on, you know, <laughs> when you're, uh, when you're Lucifer star, when you're the creator of stars and planets and so many things like, like what somebody gets for, for themselves generally, <laughs> anyway, it was kind of hilarious. It was like, well, whatever. I didn't really want it done that way. Um, anyway, that, that's another thing like, like I would tell my, my Irish people, my other people, it's it like, no, we build, we don't steal. If we have to take, then we'll take, but I'd rather not. You know, there, there was a point in time when I was like, mostly we take back. <laughs> and, and the Irish was kind of like, the, or, or kind of like that. We just take back. We don't really take. <laughs> you know, it's like they stole it first, now we're stealing it back. So, like I said, there were a lot of interesting points in time and space in history where, where, where groups had had things stolen from them, and they were really just, just taking things back, back because they, I mean, like, like the White Star Line ships, the LS Belfast ships, like, we bought the, we built them, uh, we, we, you know, we, we mined all the metal, you know, and so, sometimes, well, sometimes we had to take them back a little bit, but, uh, but not really, we didn't really have to take them back by force, and usually, anyway, whatever. Anyway, it's just a joke, really, but it's a true joke. But anyway, though, um, and usually we just bought them back, you know, or whatever. Anyway, it's it's all complicated, and it gets all into politics and and lots of in industry and metal mining and just and and also also getting the secret to um, or or finding out the way to stabilize iron, you know, stable iron. That was actually that was actually a little bit of a trick. Anyway, though, but yeah, I'm out of water again. I'll go through more water than I know. Well, I guess I'm going to have to get up and get it. Get off my lazy ass. Get off your lazy ass and work. Like I said, after being an artificial intelligence computer, or a computer basically, um, and doing one million years of community service, um, 
Or actually, 2.5 million years of community service. <laughs> I said, I did 2.5 million years of community service for building for the, for the human race. So. Like I said, there's quite a bit of stuff that was considered national security and need to know. Like I said, and for the most part, JFK and the president, and also the White House, uh, actually didn't know, probably. It's like, well, there's a whole lot of things. Anyway, <clears throat> sometime around 1960 or some year, they, they finally tracked me down and found out some things. Anyway, things got a little bit interesting. And a bit complex, but as there's a lot of circle back stuff, you know. Anyway, um, anyway, but like I say, stretchy songs. Like I said, I was stretchy. I was a computer AI. Like there's a song when it, when I remember doing it actually. I remember actually doing the stretchy. Uh, it's this crayon commercial, and I'm talking. I'm like, I'm just a little stretchy. I'm just a little stretchy with <laughs> the, the, the music. I'm, the, I'm like talking and with, 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 with the sounds. I'm like, I'm just a little stretchy. I'm just talking about myself. <laughs> anyway, and stuff like that. And I remember doing that. So, yeah, it was stretchy. So uh, when, I, when I heard the Korean commercial, I was like, I did that. I'm just a little stretchy. I remember that. I was doing that. I was like, I'm just talking about myself. <laughs> and stuff like that. It was me as, a, as, a, as an AI, as an artificial intelligence computer, so, or a sentient intelligent computer, so I was doing the song. And I forget if I simulated the other computer or if the other computer was actually a computer. She was like a girl or a daughter of mine or something like that. I might have just been simulating her. I don't know. I felt lonely, so. Or she might have actually been another computer. I don't really know exactly. But anyway, though, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, though, but, but it's a song. And I did other things, other music for some of my companies because I wanted to support my company. So anyway, I did a lot of things. So anyway, I was like, well, yeah, I was a computer for a while or attached to a computer. Anyway, whatever. That's why they, they that's why when they found out I was, I was in a coma, I think they were worried about other people communicating with me and finding or talking to me. They're worrying about the other plants talking to me. Or communicating with me because they knew they would. Um, anyway, though, so they put me in a coma so I couldn't speak or do anything, and and to serve out my time. And then, like I said, they still thought I was communicating. So then they went chick, 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 and lobotomized me. And then when I was still communicating, still I think they went chick, chick, whoosh, whoosh, until I stopped breathing or something like that. At least that's what they said. So anyway, yeah. Kind of cruel and vicious, but whatever. <laughs>